good morning and welcome to today's upload. My name's Emma. Make sure you stick around for hauls and vlogs. I can hear a puppy snuffling around trying to find me. I hope you're well. It's been ages since I've spoken to you like this. It's been ages since I've been at home and you've seen me at home. Um, it's been a few weeks since I filmed in sunny Birmingham and if you are here from the Disney vlogs, welcome. I hope you stick around and enjoy the fun in between the Disney trips and no spoilers but there may be another little Disney trip penciled in before the end of the year, but who could tell? Only I would know. I know. Uh, so, yep, stick around. We've got hauls and we do vlogs and chats. Uh, Stephen and I are hoping to go to Costco next week, so you will have a Costco haul. Haven't been there for ages and ages. So, today is going to be like a catch-up video of all the stuff that has been going on that you have missed since we came back from Florida. What was for three weeks ago, four weeks ago? So let's catch you up. Stephen's just um, came to get the rubbish out of the office, taking the dog for a walk. So let's catch you up. You missed Erin did her SATs, um, which is like a test that they do in England in year two and year six. So she's done that. She um, is currently waiting to find out what part she's got in Shrek in the school play. I like to tell you she auditioned for four parts. She was like, I don't want to hedge my bets on just a Fiona. So she's gone for four different parts in the vain hope she gets one. That's what she's doing. My boy won a football medal. He did so well. He won a football medal in um, a tournament. He won the whole tournament with his team. So that was really good. His first one. If you hear any bags scruffling around, it's Stephen emptying the bins. Uh, what else? I think that is <laughs> about it. I've just been mumming. I've been sorting the house out. I have been sorting my office out and I will show you. And you might say, Emma, that doesn't really look any different. But believe you me, this took weeks. So today I'm going to go around the house, show you um, some new bits and bobs that I have bought that you might like. Show you some kind of things that are going on with the house, things that we want to go on with the house. You know I've been talking about that extension for since the day we moved in. It might be happening. We've got plans drawn up, so I'll talk about that. Don't get too excited because it takes two months for the plans to go through approval. Then you have to get, it's gonna be a whole thing, but we are one step closer. So let me show you my little office, um, the loft situation. If you are thinking this is gonna be like the home edit and you're gonna, and it's gonna be like Chloe Kardashian's garage, it's not. Guys, it's not, let's embrace it, it's not going to be like that. But it's much tidier and I will, I will tell you what we did. No, my friends, this is not the before. <laughs> this is, in fact, the after. But I can't remember if I filmed a before clip, but you have seen it before. But this actually is really, really, really organised. Do, are they all in matching boxes? No. Did I think, should I get all matching boxes? And, and But then I realised that was a waste of money and plastic. So they're in the ones they're in. But, so right at the very, very back, um, we've got, it goes like, it's so big. I'm not sure this shows how big it, right at the very, very back, we've got like photos um, and memory boxes and stuff that we don't really need to get to, in, you know, until the children are old and they want to look at them. And then we've got our cases in here. The middle boxes, I have a, bo a gift box for presents. I have a box um, for decorations like bunting and stuff. We've also got um, the kids reward boxes here. I've put my clothes rail, tucked that in nicely in there. So it makes the room a little bit bigger. So it is, it is, it is, much, oh gosh, so much more organized. Uh, even though you are going to be like, mm, looks the same. It doesn't. It took us three weeks of slowly and painstakingly bringing out every single box and going through it because I find it quite hard um, to get rid of some things, to donate some things, some things that we just, you know, we don't need that kind of stuff in the house. So every single box, we went through every single thing and we found some beautiful things that we had forgotten about. So some plates that my nan had bought us. Stephen, was, I wish I'd kept it, but that he put that right at the back. 
Stephen found, and you're going to say, Emma, why did you keep this? This is the thing we shouldn't have kept, but we kept it. Stephen found, when he went to Orlando, Florida, his first trip when he was a kid, he like kept like a map and stuff. How mad's that? So we found that. Maybe that should have been a, a recycling thing. It wasn't. We kept it for the mems. So it is done, and I tell you, it's a weight lifted off me. I now know that every single thing in there, because we went through every single thing in there, is stuff that we want for now, for the future, and for the children when they grow up. I can finally breathe. So I'll show you a few office, uh, changes to the office, and another change that I want to make, um, because it just is so much, it's such a much better working space now, and I love it. Because we wanted it more of like a office business space, um, we put up some photos uh, for some blog things that I've done. Also, my plan is, which is where this comes in, this is Erin's old telly that she doesn't have in a room anymore. And I was like, does it work? Um, and Stephen said, you can, you can watch like Disney Plus and Amazon Prime. So I'm gonna turn this also into like a snug kind of room. So with the couch, I've added a blanket. Over here is pretty much the same, but I've added like a little plant stand here with some plants. As I said, that's the loft. This is like for when I do any fashion stuff. These are like things that um, I get sent or brands I'm, you know, I'm working with. And over here, <laughs> look, this came in the post, this little humidifier. Um, like I ordered it and it's very small, but it does the job perfect. So I now have a humidifier in here or a diffuser. I think I'm getting the word wrong, correct me. And I got these from Main Street Candle Company, which um, I got the Mickey Waffles and also the Polynesian Village. Made a bit lighter, you can see. So you can, I think the, you get them on the site and then you can get them sent. So I've had these for a few years now and Stephen is kind of one of the presents that he gets me. And I, th I seem to remember, he maybe got about five and it came from America and there it was it all came to about fifty pounds including the package, I think. So I've got yeah, Mickey Waffles Polynesian Village up here, so that's really nice. Love it. It is so small, but it's perfect for the desk, isn't it? Fits in all like shades of pink, which is my absolute favourite. As I said, I've got all my plants over here, so they're thriving and my plan is to put the television here which I might do in this video or show you in another video we've got I think we need to get an extension cord put the television here and then the kids can come up and sit up here and watch a video and just like on the couch or they can have like friends over they can watch a video up here uh, so that is the plan as it stands but we need a big old extension cord also Got the label maker out, didn't I? What's what's Emma's favourite thing to do? It's label stuff. Come on, focus. You just the camera's too excited. It's like I can't focus on such things. So I've just um, sorted all our drawers out and did. Have you ever seen that trick where you take a pillowcase and you put the whole duvet sheet and everything in the pillowcase? I did all that. I did all that. So that's all neat as well. So it's just a really nice space up here now. If we have the telly, as I said, the kids can hang out up here and watch stuff. Um, I have somebody come and work with me one day a week. So we work up here now together, which is really nice. And it's just, it's just lovely. Right, let's show you some other bits and bobs that I did. When I was doing vlogs before, I was thinking about getting all different, um, wardrobes and storage for my boy's room and then loads of you are like do not bother because when he gets a bit older he's going to want a whole new theme and a design so I didn't but I did I have tidied it up because oh gosh it was so messy so I'll show you what the bookcase looks like now oh I love it here we go I've sorted the bookcase out we went through everything like, this is another thing where loads of things had to go to the charity shop because we were holding on to like loads of baby books I did keep a few I did keep a few and put them in their memory boxes, but his bookcase is all sorted now. This area is as tidy as it's gonna get. We've got fidget spinners and, what are they called? Poppet, poppets? Poppets, is that what they're called? You know the popping, flipping things. Squishmallows, we've got magic in there, toys in there, and then with this, which we had to bring all the way back from Florida. Somebody actually said, 
did the kids kids buy anything on holiday yeah stuff like that stuff like that I had to put in my case <laughs> so um yeah this is tidy but um, ideally I would like to when he's a bit old and perhaps grown out of this stuff a desk's gonna go here that's that's the plan you might have seen on my Instagram that I actually took all the board games out and put them in these bags, which I'd seen on TikTok. So you put the game in it. Now these are games that we will keep forever because our kids are older, they're not like little kiddie games. We won't be, you know, donating these to charity because these can be done for ages. The headbands is one you can play forever. So I put the instructions, put the stuff in, it was great. But there were a couple like this one that just didn't fit in so if you are going to buy these i would buy a set of a4 bags and a set of a3 bags but this just has given us his pokemon he likes me when i show you the pokemon his pokemon drawing is the collection's doing well this has given us so so how many i think there's 10 games so imagine how much space 10 games were taking up so it's just so much better um, and I went through his wardrobe as well so that's all sorted so so much better there just have been a couple of things that I'd kind of let slide a bit so I just have been spending weekends just like donating stuff getting rid of stuff tidying stuff sorting through stuff making sure you know all their clothes are the right sizes the shoes oh my gosh kids feet Kids feet, they just grow so quick. My boy and my girl are now a size five. I'm only a size six. How has this happened? So there were shoes in there that were like from last summer that were like a size two. So it's just stuff like that. It's never ending, isn't it, with your children? You just have to keep like every few months going through everything. But I don't mind, I, I find it actually quite relaxing. I'm gonna show you a couple of things that Stephen has been up to, or rather hasn't been up to. You know I've been talking about it for ages. We've got the wallpaper down. Oh, it's quite echo, isn't it, without the wallpaper? We've got the wallpaper down in here. And before you all comment and say, but you could have just stuck it back. We couldn't, we tried. We tried and it was our own fault. It's because we kept putting washing on the radiator, which was like making everything just, um, what's the word? Damp. So we took the wallpaper down and Stephen, by the next vlog, maybe we'll have put the um, wallpaper up and i'll show you we haven't gone for a modern one and stephen really protested pink but then i said which one do you want and he went for this one we've gone for another william morris one but it's a light one um the house is an arts and crafts house uh so yeah, so this will go in really in keeping with the house it will brighten the corridor up um, William Morris wallpaper is really expensive, but we only need one roll, please. Please <laughs> say we only need one roll. I can't remember if I told you on here, when when we did the um, office upstairs, I remember Stephen wallpapered it for his first time. He did such a good job, really good job, because it was a really hot, we ran out of wallpaper and there was like a big, massive <laughs> square. Please, please don't let us run out of wallpaper. Um, hmm. I'll let you know, and you know what? It'll be a funny story if we do it. Okay, let me show you the other thing that I was shook about, and this is definitely gonna be a whole video. Definitely gonna be a whole video, without a shadow of a doubt. Let me get Stephen's sliders on. Anybody else put their feet in their other halves, choose to go outside, even though I could put my own on, every time. Oh no, I was just wondering where Stephen, my boy's walking the dog, isn't he? Um, I'm going to shook at this. Also, Ethan cracked some giant cement eggs that had dinosaurs in and completely destroyed our back garden. Fun. Are you ready for this, guys? What the actual hell? I did put this on my Insta stories. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? So, when Stephen's been saying, oh, I'll go and pop that in the shed. <laughs> this is how he's been potting, popping it in the shed. We've got glow up reindeers. There's a box there with horses. Unsure what that is, but when we get it out, I'll look. I think it looks like watering cans, obviously. 
We've got we've got fishing nets. We do a lot of fishing in the middle of Birmingham, which if you don't know where Birmingham is, it's nowhere near anywhere you could probably fish. I mean, you suppose you could fish in the canal, fish out a rat. Quality street tins. A skateboard for all the skateboarding that nobody in the family does. So this is definitely going to be a whole video and I'm planning on taking everything out. Bear in mind, he's got two of these as well. He's got two of these, not one, he's got two of these. One, two, three. Two of these. So we're going to have to do a video where we get everything out and put it back. And then there's going to be... But he's worse than me. But yeah, I was, imagine my shock when I had to come and get the pegs. What is this? This is um, a naked Homer Simpson uh, fork thing. I know it's a got, oh, hang on, it's broken. A broken gardening thing. Why? Why guys? This has got to be sorted. So yeah, I was shooker. I was uh, not happy. So that'll be a whole video. Um, now I will talk about the what we're going to have done to the extension. So here is where it's going to go. We have spoke to our neighbour. Say, you know, do you mind? And she's like, no, it's fine. She might even get hers extended out a bit. So we're going to extend out to pretty much here. And I know our garden is quite small anyway. So it's definitely going to encroach on that. But it's going to make like a really nice big family space. Um, so we can have like another couch, another telly. So if, as the kids get teenagers, can have friends over. The one thing I did ask, and I don't know if it's going to happen, but I really, we're going to have a side door here. And I've asked if we can somehow keep this round door on the side, which might be a real pain in the bum. But I, don't you love it? I love it. It's a round door. So, I want to, so we're going to have like a um, door here so we can just nip out to the bins and stuff. And then we'll have by folding doors here. And that is the plan. But yeah, this will take ages. This won't be done. I don't imagine this will be finished this year. But we're, we're getting one closer one step closer to doing it Stephen's working from home today so yeah all this will be down there and it'll be like a, there'll be like a a couch and it'll just be like a big open we're going to have um those velux window things so it's going to be a nice big open space i ideally would like to get a new kitchen at some point but the price that the, it's coming out for the extension it would just be loads so and this kitchen's nice i like this kitchen i could probably do with do you remember when i did that video where me um where i stained the wood again i could probably do with doing that a little do with that again uh so yes uh, steven if you cut into steven he would be half coke zero absolute facts so there we go just a little catch-up video for you all um a couple with a couple of new bits of, oh, i'll show you where the mickey mouse picture is that you remember we we're getting it uh from the hall the lovely 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 picture it is one of my favorite things in this house now actually so i've put him there in a nice frame my plants are absolutely going banana <laughs> What the heck are, grow are like growing are like absolute insanity at the moment. Really, 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 really growing loads. These two in the past couple of weeks, especially this one. So it must be the sun and as we know, this one over here. And also this one. They're due a water actually. Um, I'll do that this weekend. I've started to <laughs> plant chat with Emma. I used to water them every week. And I've stopped now with most of them. It seems to be once a fortnight. Have, and I think what was happening was I was watering. There's a few that do need watering every week. There's, there's, a, there's one on the stairs that is, it's, it's causing me grief because he's always flopping about. But I was watering them every week. And I think a lot of the um, roots were rotting. That's why some of them were dying. So they seem, once a fortnight seems to be much better for them. You're like, we don't care. And I'm like, well, the, this is what's been going on in my life. Plants, sh sheds, 
putting games into bags and rifling through boxes. So you're all caught up now. Let me know in the comments any videos you would like to see. I need to go back to Home Bargains. I've not been for ages. Thinking of going to the um, nice Home Bargains and B&M. Not been for a while. Costco, not been for ages. Poundland, not stepping stepped in, pound, in Poundland for months. So all of those are gonna be coming forward. Lots of weekly vlogs. Let me know what you wanna see in the weekly vlogs. Do you wanna see um, clean with me? Do you wanna see tidying with me? Do you wanna see organization? Do you just wanna see me roaming around the house, chatting utter rubbish like I have done today? Because I can do that. I could film a video for you every day if that's all you wanted. Um, but we're all caught up. Kids are happy. Stephen's happy. Margot, I can't show you because she's on a walk. She's happy. Probably needs to have another little bit of a groom. I want your tips, actually. Two tips. One, hay fever. I'm getting it dreadfully. Leave any advice below. I've got another doctor's appointment on Monday um, to try and sort it out. Two, People who have dogs with eyes that water, how do I clean them without the dog being cross with me? If you can let me know that, I will be so thankful because we are really struggling. I was getting to the point where I'm thinking, I'm gonna have to send it to the groom like every week just for them, them to do it. We've, we've done the peanut butter on a spoon, we've done the snacks, we've done the gentle, we've been doing all the things. Left me now. Right, my loves. I love you lots, and I will see you in a few days for another video, which hopefully, if all goes according to plan, will be a Costco haul.